Great, and welcome to our reading skill for today. We're going to continue looking at theme and how that is different from main idea. When we looked on Monday, theme is the message or the lesson of the story. We see this a lot in folk tales. Some themes might be loyalty, friendship, courage, being yourself. There are a lot of themes that text can teach us. Main idea is what the story is about. It will have the topic in the name and it is supported by details. There's nothing you have to write on this page. Let's move on to the next. And we'll do a practice with theme and main idea. Let's go ahead and read the passage and then we'll answer the questions. It was the first day of school and Sydney was worried she wouldn't have anyone to sit next to in the cafeteria. She was new to the school and did not know any of the kids in her class and she dreaded lunchtime. It's hard being new because all the other kids already have friendships and they already know how to get around the school. Sydney had no friends at this new school and did not have any idea how to get around the building. When the bell rang, Sydney sat at her desk and looked around. All the kids were talking to each other, but not Sydney. She felt alone and sad. Just as the teacher was about to start the day, a girl with brown hair and, pink, and a pink bow sat down behind Sydney. I moved my seat so I could say hi to you, she said. Sydney smiled. My name's Grace. Are you new to the school? Let's sit together at lunch so we can talk, the girl said. Sydney shook her head yes and turned around. All of a sudden, Sydney wasn't so nervous anymore and couldn't wait for lunchtime. So our first question is, what is the main idea of the passage? Remember, the main idea is what the whole story is about. So let's grab our red highlighting tool. And let's see what kind of things are in the whole story. So the first day of school, that well, this whole passage is about the first day. Sydney is in this whole passage, so the first day of school for Sydney. That's what this whole passage, passage is about. So we're going to use our strategy to make another sentence, cross out the question words, use the question and our answer. Main idea of this passage is the first day Sydney goes to a new school. Now we already highlighted our evidence, but I want to come up with one detail that supports her going to a new school. Oop, I spelled Sydney wrong. So details are one thing from the story that happened. So what's one thing that happened on the first day at her new school? It's also a word that I see high, um, repeated a lot. Well, she felt alone and sad, or she didn't know anyone might be a better detail. The evidence. I found that supports the main idea is she did not know anyone at this new school.
You can pause the video if you need more time. Number three. What is the theme of this story? Well, let's look back at some of our options here. We have loyalty, overcoming obstacles, hardship, kindness. And on the page before, there are some other themes at the bottom. Friendship, growing up, survival, identity, death, war, unhappiness, love, never giving up. I think this theme is teaching us about friendship. The theme of this story is friendship. So once again, I'll cross out the question words. Use the rest in my answer. Theme of this story is friendship. Now, what evidence supports that this is about friendship? Now, I'm going to rewrite this a little bit different, and I'm going to use words in my question at the end of my answer. So let me show you what that will look like. Sydney did not know anyone But Grace invited her to be her friend. It supports the theme. Once you are finished typing all of these out, you can move on to the next activity for today and we'll look at folk tales.